Turkey, the man last year happened to manage 7.8, 7.6 back to back. It's probably one of the biggest distractions I haven't seen maybe in my life. It's affected almost 14 million people, 50,000 people died. Eighteen, eighteen people okay. killed in this house. This house. Uh, two people, big side of the uh, house. Okay. How the typical was constructed? Essentially, it's a mud wall. It's a clay mud. So I was born and grew up in Tokyo, Japan. And after I graduated from high school, I told my mom, Dad, I gotta go to the United States. And uh, they go, okay, well, well, why is that? Well, I say, I wanna play for Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> they, they thought I went crazy, obviously, right? But that's what I want to do, you know? I just wanna play, play, for, play football. That's why I, I left Japan. Uh, I played for college for a couple of years and I blew my knee. You know, so that, that was it, my uh, football career per se. And my plan B is just being a structural engineer. So I took that Mars Chef and Associates gig. It was a small company and by well respected. And one of the things we start doing it is the um, using the very innovative technology, seismic energy dissipation devices. You know, it's like essentially a shock absorber. After a while, after seven years, so, so John Schaefer decided to retire. You know, and um, he asked me, hey kid, you know, I want you to buy this company. We want to share this, this, our knowledge and experience because there are so many places just affected by the earthquakes and disasters. One of my impressions with the kid early on, probably before I worked with him, is that actually he had both the business side and the engineering side. He just came from a company called EQE. He was a CEO and a founder of the company. 700 people at the time, 70 different locations. And I asked Peter, Peter, you know, I really admire what you did. I want you to be joint as a board of directors, be my mentor. Once uh, I joined, uh, it was obvious that uh, he was capable of doing what we had done. He could uh, do it a little quicker by getting advice. One day he said, Kit, Let's go to that Washington DC. He and I went there one week. He just made that introduction to just key people. That's the D week. Change everything about what we do today. You know, at that time, the company really wasn't doing anything fantastic. It was basically a, a pretty uh, typical small structural engineering firm. Peter was opening incredible um, this connections and doors you know, all over the world. Mark is one really set up the foundation of business, you know, business management system in a company. But again, Kit's bold vision, you know, we just decided one day we were gonna call it Miyamoto International. What international? <laughs> I guess you're kind of international. <laughs> In uh, 2008, there was a massive earthquake in Sichuan, China. Parents were digging in the rubble for their children as school buildings collapsed. And those schools are big schools. 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 5,000 kids in there. And the earthquake happened in right 2 p.m. in a Monday afternoon. I went to some schools. Everybody died there. I know there were like 5,000 students in there and no survivor. Miyamoto Relief was established to provide some funding support to these causes. I mean, our mission to make the world a bit of a safer place is we really mean it. It's a kind of a, in a sense, cheesy mission statement, if you can say, if you don't act on it. But we mean it, we act on it. That's why I'm in the front line, I'm on the, in the Ukraine, I'm in a Turkish disaster, because the CEO is me, right? I gotta walk the talk. Now that we're in Ukraine, where we actually uh, fixed about 7,000 apartments and houses, we assess about 20,000 more on top of that. It's difficult because of this, it's a still in a war, active war. Today we have 150 people in Ukraine, you know. They get attacked, but they're fixing. 
because that's what they want to do. Oh, they fixed it? Yeah, they yeah. fixed it everything. Fixed it. In this room, they, they fix everything. I, I see. The whole wall yeah. yeah. It uh, yeah. invites us to Borsch. <laughs> 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 Kit is very brave. Um, he doesn't mind putting his life in danger uh, every day if need be. He is one of the hardest working people I've ever known. A lot of foreign governments respect him because not only does he, he goes to the earthquake areas around the world, but he goes back. After the earthquake in Haiti, I mean, I remember he was down there riding around with two guys in a totally destroyed pickup truck Two guys in the back with pumped shotguns, living on bottled water and granola bars for weeks at a time. He, he just does whatever it takes. We went to Nepal after the earthquake in 2015 there, and we came in during monsoon season, clouded up and foggy, and we couldn't fly out because there were these little planes that would fly people in and out of the area. So we were stuck there for like a whole week and my dad was loving it because he loves an adventure. He loves a story. And so he was like, oh my gosh, like this is so cool. Like we're out here, we're trapped. And I was like, oh my God, like freaking out about it. We were able to get in contact, got a helicopter and we were able to escape there within like a 45 minute window that the clouds were parting. <laughs> As a much younger engineer, I was really inspired by the purpose-driven work that he did. Uh, Kit is very well respected in the structural engineering community here in California. We were even not surprised when he was appointed a commissioner in the California Seismic Commission because that is who he is. I mean, I do meditate every day. I mean, it really helps, you know. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's just so much noises everywhere, right? Just so much information just from all over come, come at you. Now we have a 30 different operations going on, but if you get stressed out, <laughs> not so much fun. <laughs> Meditation, surfing, those things are extremely helpful. You got to uh, understand your passion. Your passion will become a strength. This group of people can really change the world. Personable and passionate describes my dad perfectly. Just something that he's instilled in me, like from when I was young, is just like do something you're passionate. And he says that to all my siblings. And I think he's just very like a very personal person, like just very outgoing. Yeah, just has a good heart. Thank you, my friend, very much for my personal relationship with you and what you've done for the public in California, in the United States, and around the world. You have done so much for the engineering profession and just for people's health and safety across the world. You have given so much and helped so many people. This award cannot go to anybody else that more deserves it than you. You truly deserve this recognition. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>